I knew what I wanted to do since ninth grade. I started volunteering at a ESOL camp, which is for um, English learners from other countries, and it's a nonprofit organization. And I was like, this is what I want to do. It's like, I want to give back to the community. I want to be an educator, especially, you know, with immigrant community and just, you know, going through bachelor's degree to get my education. It's not easy. And it's like, I really want to do this. This is my vocation. And it's just, I just, you know, we just want an opportunity. I'm just your average student that is trying to go to college and make a career for myself and just move up in, in life, you know, I'm just trying to go up the ladder of education and just try to find an opportunity to improve on my life and myself as my parents have told me to do. It's frustrating. I mean, it's frustrating at first and it just gives, pulls you back and, it's, you know, it's like, hey, you do not belong here in the state. Even though you've made this your home for the past 15 years, you know everyone here, you're in your community. Having an in-state tuition will allow us to continue our dreams of um, educating ourselves. Um, it is a right that we have as citizens of Georgia uh, to be receiving in-state tuition. We pay taxes, we have been living here for most of our lives. Um, we are residents uh, legally here in the state of Georgia and they should be allowing us to have in-state tuition. Um, so it's morally, morally right and it's also legally right to have in situation. This has been a production of the Georgia Budget and Policy Institute.